the stroke fills, layer effects and properties all make up the style of an object. Instead of having to create these settings for your design from scratch, the Styles panel can be used to store and apply pre-designed styles to objects like shapes, text and curves. The Styles panel is nested in the middle section, along from the Layers panel. If you like, you can click-drag to float the panel onto your workspace. It should be present by default when you open the apps, but if it isn't, you can find it on the Window menu. At the top of the panel, you can search for specific styles, or browse through your categories. The default category is preloaded with a few different styles to try out. To apply a style, click to select an object, and then select a style from the panel. You can save styles that you've created to use them again in the future or across different documents. We'll go through a few steps to create a new style. I'll revert this shape back to its default settings using this cog with a red line on the upper toolbar. Then I'll select the Gradient tool and create a gradient on the rectangle. I'll make the first node an icy green and click on the well near Opacity to switch to Noise and then increase the noise to add texture. For the other node, I'll make this one a cool blue and again add some noise, around 80%. Styles can also include layer effects, so I'll open the Quick Effects panel and add a 3D effect. I'll lower the radius down to 1. I'll also add an inner glow and set the colour to a dark magenta. I'll increase the radius to try and create an iridescent effect. I'm happy with this style that I've created, so now I'll save it to the Styles panel. With the object selected, I'll open the panel options. Here I can add a new category, rename or duplicate a category, or delete a category. I can also sort my list of categories into alphabetical order, or the date which I imported them. I can import or export styles here, and show as a list, or disable this to show as a grid, or add a style from selection, which will save the style. I'll click this option to add my new style to my default category. I can right-click on the style to rename or delete it. I'll rename it Iridescent. Now I can select other objects, like this rectangle, and click my new style to apply it. I can also apply styles to the artboard, and text too. To import a new styles category, I'll open the panel options and select Import Styles. I'll locate my styles file and then select Open. Now if I open the list of categories, I can select my newly imported styles. Here is a style that I made earlier, imitating a gold effect. I can apply it to individual objects in my design. Or hold Shift to select multiple objects and then apply the style to all of them. I can also use the Select Same feature to apply the style across all the artboards. I'll select one of the shapes and go to the Select menu and down to Select Same. I'll pick an attribute that they all have in common, like the same fill colour. Then, when they're all selected, I'll choose the style to apply it to all the objects. Because Select Same works across all artboards, I can quickly change the styles across all of my journal pages for elements that share the same attributes. So that was a quick look at the Styles panel. Thanks for watching.